Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello dear students, I am Dr. Mona Semalti from HNB Garhwal University, Srinagar Garhwal. I welcome you all in this module and today in continuation to our previous modules of skin related problems and their treatment. In this module, we will discuss few more skin problems and their remedial part. So in this module, we will discuss about prickly heat, wrinkle, acne and blemish. So all these four problems we are going to discuss what are the causes behind and what is the remedy for these skin problems. So this is going to be our learning outcome. So after going through from this module, you will be able to know yourself, different causes and treatment of prickly heat, wrink wrink uh, skin acne and blemish so this is going to be your lesson plan first we will discuss prickly heat and then uh, wrinkle acne and blemish so we will start from the prickly heat so it is a condition which arise when sweat ducts become clogged the sweat cannot get the surface of the skin. Instead, it gets trapped beneath the skin surface causing a mild inflammation or some sort of rashes. So, what it is prickly heat? It is due to when your, uh, when your sweat ducts are clogged by some means. Okay. So, uh, it is the heat rash characterized by itchy uh, red spots. Uh, which develops on the chest and arm, under the armpits and between the thighs. Okay. Now, common names are heat rashes. Okay. Uh, or malaria also we call them sometimes. Okay. So, this is about prickly heat. Now, heat rashes type. So, what are the types of uh, uh, heat rashes? Clear heat rashes. This is also called uh, malaria crystalline okay red heat rashes malaria rubra so these are technical terms you, you just remember clear heat rash and red heat rash okay you can also remember their technical terms okay so it is that clear uh, heat rash this is tiny blisters that looks like small bits of sweat which are seen if the sweat is blocked at the almost superficial layer of the skin where the sweat ducts open on the skin surface okay red heat rash if the sweat causing inflammation in the deepest layer of your epidermis okay so it is referred as malaria rubra next is white yellow heat rash this is malaria postulosa when postulis uh, Posture is a kind of pimple which are uh, which are uh, which are like in, they have, have pus in them. So they develop uh, lesions of malaria rubra in terms of malaria postulosa. Deep heat rash, malaria profunda. Okay, less commonly, but uh, after repetitive episodes of prickly heat, this condition is developed. So the heat rash may inflame the deeper layer of the skin called the dermis when your dermis is going to affect this is deep heat rash the rash is mad the rashes are made up of more larger and uh, the made the the rashes is made more of larger and harder prickly heat causes so moving to the causes of prickly heat uh, creases in the skin like neck okay 
some sort of little folding it is okay neck armpit where your skin is uh, in contact with the uh, uh, adjacent skin okay which makes it difficult to air to circulate and preventing sweat evaporation when this kind of problem is there prickly heat arises okay tight clothing can prevent the sweat evaporation okay and uh, thick cream when you apply thick cream lotion that clog the sweat ducts okay heat rash uh, may occur as a side effect of medication also so it depends it depends on the condition and the type of heat rashes is observing the patient okay now what is the prevention see drink plenty of water the very importantly for all skin condition so dear students for all skin conditions whatever it may be we always the very first thing which say that drink plenty of water so because heat rashes remedy part we are discussing so we suggest here that plenty of cool water and electrolyte replacement fluid even if uh, you are not thirsty okay small cup every 15 to 20 minutes so this is first thing and uh, the person uh, the patient should be able to recognize the early signs and symptoms of uh, heat induced illness and take appropriate action accordingly spend a less time uh, if it is possible in direct sunlight so avoid direct sunlighting take frequent uh, breaks in cool and shaded areas wear light cotton clothes okay and loose fitting clothes avoid caffeine which makes your body to lose water okay so these are some prevention moving to the wrinkles see the wrinkle are the fine lines and the creases that forms in your skin uh, generally we said the wrinkles are uh, always with the patient with the persons of elderly age group but it is not like that some wrinkles can become deep uh, deep Uh, uh, crevices or furrows and may become especially noticeable around your eyes, mouth, and neck. So, wrinkle typically appears as a result of aging process, as I said, such uh, such as uh, uh, glycation and habitual slipping position uh, and loss of body mass, um, loss of excessive body mass. If when a person has suddenly lost a lot of weight, so the the skin becomes very loose. and it forms a wrinkle temporarily as a result of the uh, and sometimes it is also as a result of prolonged immersion in water but that is temporarily completely next is uh this we are discussing age when you get older your skin naturally becomes less elastic and more fragile so decreased production of the natural oil dries up your skin and makes it appear more wrinkled when fat in the deeper layer of your skin diminishes this causes loose saggy skin and more pronounced lines and in the crevices are visible smoking uh, smoking can accelerate the normal aging process of your skin it contributes to wrinkle uh, this may be due to the changes in the blood supply to your skin now what are the causes of uh, wrinkle see first is exposure to sunlight okay ultraviolet light ultraviolet radiation which speeds the natural aging process is primarily causes cause the early wrinkling exposure to uv light which breaks down your skin's connective tissues collagen basically the connective tissues are collagen that we know okay collagen and elastic elastic fiber which lies up deeper in the layer of skin which lies in the dermis part of your skin so without the supportive connective connective tissue your skin becomes loose uh, your skin become loose and it it basically loses the strength and flexibility so skin then begins to sag and uh, their wrinkles become a uh, they become sometimes uh, they the wrinkles become they are more visible next is repeated facial expressions so facial movements and expressions such as uh, 
uh, squinting, uh, smiling, uh, it leads to fine lines and wrinkles. Each time you use a facial muscle and group forms beneath the surface of the skin. So, and the skin edges, it loses its flexibility and no longer able to spring back in the place. Okay. So, this is uh, less contributing factor, I would say. And uh, so, these types of groups becomes permanent feature in your face. So, uh, this is one cause. Next is treatment of wrinkle. See, treatment topical retinoids. Very uh, commonly uh, described for wrinkle treatment uh, derived from vitamin A retinoids such as uh, tretinoin and uh, terazotine uh, which is used on the which is used on the skin and they may reduce the fine lines and wrinkles okay because retinoids uh, can make your skin uh, burn more easy uh, easily you will need to use a broad spectrum uh, spectrum of sunscreen and wear protective clothing daily so retinoid may cause redness drying itching and burning and tingling sensation okay so uh, this is one uh, treatment for wrinkles next is uh, non prescription wrinkle creams see wrinkle creams basically this is not a uh, we, we don't consider it as a complete medical condition associated okay so that's why some non prescription wrinkle creams are there so anti wrinkle creams any of the cream and uh, number of creams are available in the market depending in part of the active ingredients see retinol antioxidant and some peptides may result in slight to modest improvement in the wrinkle so uh, or we can also connect them to your anti aging creams okay they also use they are also used for the same purpose uh, fillers is a biological or uh, syntactical mean to inject in Hypoderm. These are some sort of injections which are injected in the hypoderm or in the derma tissue. Uh, so to implement or to enhance a limited area of the uh, body. Fine. So mm, the used substrates are bovine collagen because uh, at the elderly age uh, when we reach our skin loses collagen, the connective tissues as we discussed in the previous slides. Okay and uh, uh, okay fine peelings is a medical treatment consisting consisting it consists of basically a micro abrasion of epidermis or the superficial and medium derma by means of a, some chemical and physical agents okay so Mm, peels used in these treatments are pyruvic acid, salicylic acid, retinoic acid, etc. in 10 to 20 percent concentration. In 10 to 20 percent. Treatment of wrinkle lasers are also cosmetic. Use of laser represents a valid non-invasive interventions for the skin age group and uh, uh, botulinum toxins. See, botulinum toxin injection uh, for the treatment of facial wrinkle is one of the most common entry procedures. So, dear students, you need not to go in much detail about this thing. Just mention the causes and you can superficially mention the points which are, uh, uh, which we, the measures which are taken to treat the wrinkle. So, moving to the next skin problem is is also known as acne vulgaris is a long-term skin disease that it is very common also and that occurs when uh, hair follicles are clogged with the dead skin cells and oil from the skin uh, dead skin cells and the it is uh, it is merged in the skin itself so it is characterized by blackheads or uh, blackheads or uh, white heads, pimples, oily skin and possible scarring. So these all conditions result from acne and it primarily affects the area of the skin which is a relatively high number uh, uh, of oil glands including face, upper part and chest and back. 
causes of acne okay hormonal uh, changes which occur due to puberty pregnancy and before the menstrual period the this kind of skin problem is we note this kind of skin problem increased sebum production of course sebum production is a natural oil produced by the body when the sebum production is increased it uh, somewhere it leads into the formation of the pimple okay and then when we come in contact with the dust uh, and the other environmental factors so it the condition becomes exaggerated so the changes in the hair follicle uh, when the hair grows the cycle we studied we have seen the uh, uh, there are changes in the hair follicle sometimes and associated with the other environmental conditions bacterial infection of course uh, mm, this is one cause and uh, stress uh, is an uh, also another cause uh, of uh, acne certain medications also leads to acne as uh, their side effect and uh, certain cosmetics certain medicines and unhealthy food habits okay so these are few causes of acne now types of acne we will see some different types of acne non inflammatory acne it includes black, blackheads and whiteheads uh, these normally don't cause swelling they also uh, respond relatively well to otc treatment okay they are easily treated by the otc products which are available in the market blackheads are comedones blackheads are comedones comedones is the technical term which we use for blackheads and these are open to the skin surface and they are filled with excess oil and dead skin cells comedones they stay close to the surface of the skin called whiteheads this happens when the oil and the skin cell prevent the clogging hair follicle from opening so this is about non inflammatory acne so this is not a much serious problem associated it is easily treatable by using the otc product next is inflammatory acne inflammatory acne uh papules normally we we uh, consider it skin lesions are comedones that becomes inflamed forming a small red or pink bumps on the skin so this type of pimple may be sensitive to touch so when you touch the condition becomes worse okay the large number of papules may indicate moderate to severe acne uh in uh, continuation to inflammatory acne there is another kind of post to be say so this pimple basically this contains pus so pus formation is there and uh, they resemble a white head and uh, with a red ring around the bump and the it is uh, typically filled with the white or yellow color pus so avoid pricking and uh, squeezing pustules uh, pricking can cause the scar and it can also develop the dark spots the uh, spots on the skin uh, nodules see nodules are large inflamed bumps that feel form in touch and they are sometimes they are also painful they develop deep within the skin and uh, are painful nodules should be treated by a dermatologist so it is a a little severe conditions so over the counter treatment may not be much powerful enough to clear them up but prescription drugs are effective in the treatment of nodules cysts are large pus filled lesions that look similar to boils okay like nodules cysts can be painful and uh, should be treated by dermatologists and people with uh, uh, who developed this nodules and cyst are usually considered to have more severe form of acne treatment of acne uh, topical retinoids now we are discussing the treatment of acne topical retinoids topical retinoids are mainly used in the patients with non inflammatory comedones in combination with the other topical and systematic drug in mild moderate and 
सिवियर इंफ्लामेटरी एक्ने एंड ऑल्सो एज ए मेंटेनेंस ट्रीटमेंट वेन ऑरल ट्रीटमेंट इज स्टॉप द रेटिनोइड विच आर यूज आर ट्रेटिनोइंस आइसो ट्रेटिनोइंस एडापेलीन ओके सो दीज आर फ्यू नेम्स एंटीबायोटिक्स ओके टॉपिकल एंटीबायोटिक्स दीज आर जनरली यूज फॉर माइल्ड टू मॉडरेट इंफ्लेमेटरी एक्ने दे आर एक्टिव अगेंस्ट प्रोप्यूनी बैक्टीरियम एक्ने पी एक्ने एंड देर फॉर एक्ट ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द स्किन टू रिड्यूस द स्टिमुलस फॉर इंफ्लेमेशन ऑफ द लेश Okay, the most popular topical antibiotic is erythromycin and clindamycin. So you might have seen that erythromycin cream for the treatment of pimple. Basically, it is sometimes it is prescribed by the skin experts. Okay, benzoyl peroxide. It is a topical disinfectant. So originally uh, employed as a peeling agent for treating acne, and uh, benzoyl peroxy. Uh, perox peroxide has proven antibacterial activity against p acne by releasing free radical oxygen so they release the free radical oxygen which degrades the bacterial protein so this way this treatment is given okay next is azelaic acid azelaic acid is a natural dicarboxylic acid that inhibits the protein synthesis of p acne species okay so it is an effective agent because it has bacteriostatic anti inflammatory and anti oxidant property so this uh, benzoyl peroxidase and azelaic acid is the part of treatment of acne okay so moving to the next skin problem that is blemish is any kind of mark or spot decoloration or flaws that appears on the skin so the excessive sun exposure hormonal changes certain infections and stress are some primarily contributing factors in the development of blemishes so depending on the condition causing them some blemishes paired by their own while others need some medical treatments even though most of the blemishes are uh, largely harmless they can be particularly distressing uh, dis uh, if they develop on your face common causes of uh, blemishes sun exposure is very common cause prolonged long term frequent exposure of the direct sunlight can cause considerable skin damage okay and uh, when the ultraviolet rays uh, of the sun fall on your skin that trigger the melanin producing cell that is melanocytes into the over reactivity so this increase in melanin in the epidermal layer absorbs the uv rays and prevent them from reacting uh, reaching uh, to the healthy skin cells so this is one cause of blemish uh, another is hormonal changes androgens or uh, male sex hormones are found in both the genders when these hormones are produced in excessive amount the more frequent and potentially severe acne results so this is a uh, one cause another is the viral and bacterial infection certain viral infections such as cold sores and chicken pox can lead to the development of the skin blisters on the skin which often leaves behind blemishes bacterial infections uh, also results in blemishing and another cause is the genetics some people scars more easily than the other due to their the inherited tendency so these are the causes of blemish and uh, improper diet and the stress is the another condition and another cause which results in blemishes excessive consumption of oily and dairy product is commonly suspected to trigger or the worsen the acne stress the people who lead stressful life are generally in the habit of taking too much of stress are more susceptible uh, towards this blemishes or or acne 
the types of blemishes uh, blackheads purples nodules uh, acne cyst and uh, cold sores uh, these are white heads so these are these all comes under the facial blemish treatment of blemish okay otc medicine prescribe topical creams this is one treatment uh, retinol benzoyl peroxide salicylic acid creams and prescription medicines uh, stronger medicines such as isotretinoin may be needed for uh, for the treatment of blemish vitamin c topical cream so this is very commonly prescribed by the skin experts as uh, vitamin c is a potent antioxidant and it offers a variety of skin benefits okay so which explain why it is a common ingredient uh, uh, a wide range of skin product because vitamin c uh, uh, is a antioxidant okay so even uh, natural vitamin c also helps in the treatment of blemish vitamin c based creams ointments are, are these are uh, used to treat to even to treat the hyperpigmentation premature skin aging and other type of blemishes um body odor certain food like uh, and uh, um, it is perceived that unpleasant smell that body can give when bacteria present on the skin break down uh, to the sweat into the acid so controlling the body odor we uh, uh, bear the loose cotton flows so this way we can uh, it is treated dark uh, dark clothes tends to absorb more of the heat so avoid the dark clothes use less synthetic clothing and deodorant and antiperspirants so this this is also part of treatment of the blemish so these are few references so let me summarize what all we studied in this module so this module is in continuation to our previous module there also we discussed about skin problems and their remedy so in the previous module we discussed about dry skin oily skin and dermatitis okay so we discussed different causes of dry skin and their treatment part oily skin different causes of oily skin and dermatitis different types of dermatitis and what are the reason behind dermatitis and its remedial part and in this module we discussed about other skin problems like acne blemish wrinkle and prickly head so all these problem we discussed in detail their causes their remedial part and their prevention and uh, how they are treated overall so dear students in this two modules we discussed about the skin problems okay uh, different skin problems so the uh, now with reference to your exam point of view see this i also mentioned in your previous module that the question it will come like uh, describe different skin problem and their solution okay so then uh, you can draw a tabular form you can draw it uh, then you can summarize this two module in one table form how you how you will do that you mention the skin problem the different causes and their remedial part and if there is any specific thing or remark to mention so dear students this is your homework just now sit at home and compile this two module in one table form so that it will be very easy for you to write it in the examination so dear students that's all for today and in stay tuned for more videos on cosmetics and cosmeceuticals and thank you so much for watching this video